Hello everyone, I am Pato and today I'm going to show you how to easily install mods for Minecraft with the version of 1.16.1. As you can see here, this is the normal version of the Minecraft launcher and you can also see that my version of Minecraft right now is 1.16.1 .1. and in the future this is probably going to change to newer versions but this tutorial will most definitely work for future versions as well. So anyways, the first thing you need to do is to click on installations on the top of your client and it's here you will need to select the version that you're going to install your mods on. So if the version that you want to install the mods on is not here, then click on new, then version and from here select whatever version you want. So if you want to download your mods on 1.12.2 for example, then select that and name it maybe Minecraft Modded. There we go, create. But to be able to download mods, we need to run our preferred version at least one time. But to be able to download your mods, we need to run our preferred version at least one time. And since I want to download my mods on 1.16.1, I'm going to run that version. So as you can see, I am now in game, it's 1.16.1, and this is the nether update, so when you've done that, just click on quit game. Alright, so now it's time to actually download the modded client. So to be able to download mods, you will also need to have Java installed on your computer. And if you do not have Java installed, on your computer then click on the link in the description on how to install java okay so today we're going to use fabric to download our mods and it's an easy to use modded expansion for minecraft so just click on the first link in the description and that will take you to this page so here it's very simple you just need to click on download installer universal slash dot jar so click on that and then this will pop up so as usual, our computer will give us a warning that this type of file can harm our computer. But that's because it's a .jar file. And as we can see, this is our fabric installer, so let's click on keep. So then you need to click on the second link in the description, and that will take you to this page. And here we're going to download the fabric API. And it's important to download this because if not, some mods will not function. So if we look here under main file, this is the file that we want. It says 1.16.1, .1, and that is what we want. So let's click on download. And that will take you to this page here and your download will start to download automatically but if it does not then just click here and then this will pop up so again our computer is going to tell us that this type of file can harm our computer but as i said before that's because it's a dot jar file and as we can see this is our fabric api mod that we want to download so let's click on keep Alright, so now just click on the third link in the description and that will bring you to this page. And here we will download the mod menu, which will be very handy for later on. So let's click on download, then just wait 5 seconds. And again, if it does not start automatically, just click here. And then again, this is going to pop up. And this is because it's a .jar file, and as we can see, it's our mod menu. So let's click on keep. Okay, so now just minimize your web browser and drag these three files out to your desktop and then close out of your web browser. So now you just need to double click on the fabric installer and after a little while this will appear. So here you can choose what version of Minecraft you want to download Fabric on. This is just things you don't need to care about. This is the install location and then when you're done just click on install. So that's going to download really fast as you can see and it's also going to tell us that we need the Fabric API but we have already downloaded that so just click on OK and then you can close out of this. So just save these two other files for later. Alright, so now you just need to start the Minecraft launcher again, so search for Minecraft, click enter, and this time you're actually going to see that the fabric loader is down here among your other versions. So now just click on play. Okay, so now we are in game, it seems like my computer is about to explode, but if we look in the bottom left corner you can see that it says fabric modded, so the mod loader is now installed and you can close out of the game. Okay, so now it's time to download some mods, and to find the mods we want, we will go to a website called Planet Minecraft. You may have heard of it before, maybe not, but just click on the fourth link in the description. Okay, so here we have all the latest mods that have been uploaded for Minecraft, but what we're going to do is to click on all game versions and select the version that we want to install the mods on. And since I want to install them on 1.16.1, .1, I will click on 1.16. And that will take you to this page, but to find all the absolutely best mods, we will click on the best tab, as you can see up here. So just click on that and wait. So here you can select whatever mod you want, but today I'm going to download this mod here. It's called Voxel Map. It's kind of popular, so just click on the mod that you want. So that will take you to this page, and here you can find pictures of the mod, but sometimes you can also find small clips that showcase the mod. But in this case, it's just pictures. And if you scroll down for a little bit, you can find the description, and here you can find some important information. But to be able to download the mod, we need to click on this blue button here. And it will say, you are about to leave Planet Minecraft, but that is safe, so just click on continue. 
So that will take you to another page and sometimes the mod will start to automatically download like before but this time we need to click on files up here and down here you can find all the different versions but here we can see that it says 1.16 and that is the mod that we want so let's click on download and that will start to download automatically like before. So yet again our computer will give us the same warning as it did with fabric but as we can see it says fabric mod underscore voxel map so that is what we want so let's click on keep. So when the download is done, minimize your web browser, drag the file out to your desktop, and then close. So now we just need to drag in our mods, these three here, to our mod folder. So down here, search for percentage, app data percentage, and wait. After that, you just need to click on .minecraft, and then somewhere here among all these folders, you can find the mods folder. And it's in here you're going to drag in your mods. So the two important mods that you need either way is the Fabric API and the mod menu, but we downloaded these before. And then you just need to drag in the mod that you downloaded, which in my case is a voxel map, so drag in your mod. And now the mod is successfully downloaded. So now you just need to start your Minecraft launcher. Okay, but you need to remember that you need to play on the Fabric loader to be able to play with the mod, or mods that you downloaded. So now you start the game. Okay, so we are now in game, and as you can see, the mods list is working since we have a mods tab. So if we click here, we can also see that voxel map was successfully downloaded. So if I now go into single player and create a new creative world, we're going to see that I now have a map. Okay, so now that we're in game, we can see the map in the top right corner, so the mod is working absolutely perfect. And we can also press on M to open up the map. And here we can press on waypoint, then new waypoint, and name it whatever we want. Maybe, let's call it home. And if we walk away from it now, we can see that we have a waypoint that's called home. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with this mod, but that's for you to explore. And uh, so yeah, that's kind of much all for this video. I hope it helped, and I will see you next time.